Congratulations, John and Roger and Duran Duran. Now the live music continues with the dynamic hypnotics and gotta be wrong. Gotta be the wrong way to love. Gotta be the wrong way to love The way I love you, baby Don't you know, my girl It's gotta be the wrong way to love now The way I love you right now Used to be You and me Endlessly Tenderly But something gone Gotta be the wrong stations. <laughs> well, I should fill you in, before I go any further, I should fill you in a bit on the uh, awards jargon. Um, the word debut means first, okay? To give away the award for best debut album, we are very lucky to have with us last year's winners from real life, Alan and Danny. Thank you, Hungry. Huh? Greedy, sorry. A uh, long time no see. Um, it's, it's a shame that David and Richard couldn't be here this evening. It would have been fantastic to preview our soon-to-be-released single on such a fantastic night. It would have been great. Well, unfortunately, the guys are still in Berlin mixing the new album, but I'm sure they would have loved to have been here tonight. 
With the um, recording of a debut album, it's usually the re uh, result of 18 months, two years, even three or four years, um, songwriting, trial and error, and stuff like that. Excuse me. Um, songwriting, trial and error. Uh, <laughs> what is that? Um, so every artist that reaches that point should be very proud of their achievement, as should the people of Australia when they get to that stage. So over to Danny to give the nominations. Nominations for Best Debut Album, Hoodoo Gurus, Stone Age Romeos. <laughs> Pseudo Echo, Autumnal Park. And QED, Animal Magic. And the winner is... In excess. <laughs> no, it's... Uh... Hoodoo Guru, Stone Age Romeo. Hoodoo Guru, Stone Age Romeo's was released in England last year and the British Music Press called it one of the best albums of the year. I want you back top the American College radio charts and the band two of the states. Congratulations, Hoodoo Gurus. Oh my God. Well, I didn't learn a speech because I never thought we were going to win. This is some uh, trick to play on some guys, you know? Yeah. So we'd like to thank our producer, Alan Thorne, and uh, Big Time Records, EMI Records, who are <laughs> our label and distributors. Roger Gold, David Patterson, James Kimball, Rod and Stewart, and uh, the guys who did our clips for us, John Witter and Tony Stevens, who are the tops in our books, especially for the way they handle the greyhounds and the dinosaurs. And finally, uh, I'd like to thank our road crew, Tim, especially, yeah. he's been with us since the beginning. And. Uh, Michael McMartin, our manager, who signed us up. Thanks very much, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Well, to give away the award for the best promotional video, I can think of no one better than Rock Arena's own Suzanne Dowling. Hi, and thank you. Thanks very much, Greedy. I guess it's really only the last few years that uh, video clips have really shown just what they can do with the promotion of music or records. And certainly Australia has spawned some fantastic video clip makers. In fact, last year, 1984, we had 160 Australian videos and of those 160, four have been nominated for the best promotional video tonight. Let's see what they are, Gavin. Okay, Suzanne, let's go to them right now. Saturday Night was the first single from 20th Century, Nicole Chisel's Farewell Studio Album. The song reached 11 on the Countdown National Chart, and Richard Lowenstein captured the spirit and pace of the band's last stand. Mental as Anything's only 1984 release was a witty little ditty they put out for Chrissy. B Sharp Productions clip for Apocalypso hit the countdown screen in December and fundamentally put the icing on the Christmas video cake. Eurogliders Heaven Must Be There was entered by Stephen Priest and Steve Hopkins in New York's international film and television competition and it won the Silver Award for Best Video. Richard Lowenstein's video for the third single from the Swing album tracked in excess around the world from London to Queensland on stage and off. The song reached number three on the countdown chart. Very tough competition and I'm not giving away any hints. However, we've got two awards here, okay? Joint winners. Apocalypso, Mental as Anything, from B, from B Sharp Productions, and Burn For You, In Excess, Richard Lowenstein. For the first time ever in the history of the Countdown Awards, we have a tie, accepting the best video awards for Burn For You, Troy from Richard Lowenstein's Productions, and one from Apocalypso, one of the stars from Apocalypso, hey. from B Sharp Productions. My old yeah. ego. Go! Go! Right. Great. Um, Richard's not here at the moment. He's in London doing a film for Pete Townsend from The Who. But I know we'd just like to say thanks from the guys from NXS. You're absolutely fantastic. Great. All right. Okay. They couldn't make it themselves at B-Sharp because they reckon they'd sold their souls to me. So they sent me along on the brink of apocalypso.
Let's go, you're all next. Okay, now tonight's master of ceremonies joins his metal mates and lives it up. Metal is everything. You see, looking through those tears, don't you know you went your way in gold? I can't believe that you're alone in here. Let me warm your hands against the cold. A close encounter with a hard hearted man who never gave back for what he got. Has made you wish that you'd never been born. That's a shame. single live on the Countdown Music and Video Awards. Now, would you please welcome once again, Ian Molly Meldrum. Thanks, Kevin. All right, we're uh, about to uh, read out uh, the nominations and uh, the uh, award winner of the best single voted by the industry for uh, 1984. But however, I'd like to single out one record that uh, was written two years ago. In fact, well, it was written, I don't know when it was written, but it was in fact number one two years ago. And that was I Was Only 19 by Red Gum. It may never win an award, but tonight we'd like to recognise that record because not only is it part of our tragic history as far as being involved with war, but it is, it, they made it into a success within themselves and they got across the message of where they were able to give it and bring up the Vietnam water, uh, veterans and at least make it known. I congratulate them for doing that. All right, the nominations over to you, Gavin, for the best single for 1984. Okay, Molly, uh, Machinations, No Say In It, was produced by expansion of Australian producer it. Julian Mendelssohn, who's worked with our special guest, Nick Kershaw. It reached 14 on the countdown chart. She's for you. 
The third single from the swing fired up to number three. It's one of two inaccessible nominations for best single. Dynamic Hypnotics are Australia's hottest rhythm and blues band and their soul kind of feeling went to number five on the countdown chart. It's just a soul kind of feeling. Yeah, a sound kind of sweet. Heaven. Heaven must be there when Eurogrider's first stateside single made the US top 60. Their album, This Island, has gone platinum here and was released in America, Europe and Japan. In excess, sent a message to number two on the countdown chart with a follow-up to Original Sin from the Nick Lorne produced album The Swing. DD Smash have notched up 12 music awards in New Zealand, including Band and Album of the Year for both 1982 and 1983. Their nomination for best single is Bravo Bravo, first released as Wailing. Okay, thanks, Gavin. And uh, the winner of this award for the best record, great. The Eurogliders, heaven must be there. Heaven reached number two on the countdown chart, and it was among the most successful Australian songs released overseas last year, launching Eurogliders worldwide. Congratulations to Eurogliders. <laughs> this is most unexpected and I thank everybody concerned including Brian and Chris our managers and every one of the six members of Eurogliders who are all very very good friends amongst ourselves thank you thank you very much All right, now we, become, we come to the Most Outstanding Achievement Award. And very briefly, I'd just like to say um, that an award, I read a lot of things in the papers of what an award means to some and may not mean anything to anyone else. Um, it's, uh, it's something of an occasion when you win an award and it's saying you've done well. And about three weeks ago, I won an award at the Logies for um, outstanding contribution to the music industry. However, however, please, however, I'm just one of many, and on Thursday, we lost a very dear friend to me and to the music industry, and that was to, uh, that was Wayne DeGrucci uh, unfortunately passed away. He was instrumental with the Zoot, ACDC, um, John Paul Young, and the Spaniards. He had the dedication and the love for this industry, and Wayne never asked for anything. I want to give this award because I know this award, I don't know what this award meant to me, but I know if my mum and dad had been alive, they would have been proud. So tonight, I'd like to give the award to their mum and dad, and to Wayne's mum and dad, I should say, for this, and I'll pass that on, because I'm really proud of that. Right, the most outstanding achievement for 1984, and this means not so much 1984, but what they've done for the industry, and I'm blown out with this, it's in excess. In 1984, in excess, toured Japan, Europe and North America and achieved worldwide success with their album, The Swing. Accepting the award for most outstanding achievement for the management of in excess, please welcome Chris Murphy and Gary Grant. Thanks, man. <laughs> the band told me I've got a big mouth so I should come out here and expose it. I'd like to thank six very, very hard-working people, and believe me, they work hard. And their, their wives and girlfriends who sit at home and support the band while they're out touring the world. Thank you. And to Australian radio and the public. All I've got to add to what Chris said is, in excess in the last five years, have done over 1,200 shows and all those people that have worked with us and all them, thanks very much. Thanks, all right. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Gary. Done a great job. All right, we've got this Um and Cupping group and I think you'll like them. They may have a hit record sometime. Here they are in excess with Burn For You. Hey! Some hats for this. 
song, okay? of seven Countdown Music and Video Awards. Congratulations, guys. And now, here's a couple of lucky guys. Greedy Smith and Ian Molly Meldrum. Well, what a show. Yeah, it's pretty. Go like crazy. Uh.
Going like crazy. Hey, did you enjoy yourselves out there in the audience? I love that sound. I tell you what, one thing I'd just like to thank. Uh, the industry is all down here, but you up around there is what makes the Australian industry what it is, the rock and roll music. And I thank you lot. Hey! You're good people! I tell you what, for an up-and-coming band, this band's about to do another number, aren't they? Yes, I believe so. Right. Well, here's an excuse. Incidentally, would you give this man a great, great hand as MC tonight, please? Thank you very much. That's been a lot of fun. It's very easy. Uh, anybody here, anybody wants to do it next year, just write to Ian here and he'll tell you. He'll let you have the job. One of the girls up there. OK. It's time for us to go. I congratulate everyone. I love the industry. And it's time to have a hoedown. And Jenny Morris and In Excess and some birds that I know are about to close off the show tonight. And let's go with it. Good night, Australia. Good night, Greedy. Good night, Gavin. Good night. Jack and We got mad air fever. Hot and air pepper sprout. We've been talking about Jackson ever since the fire went out. Don't Jackson. I'm gonna mess around. Yeah, I'm gonna Jackson. Look out, Jackson Town. Into that city, people gonna stoop and bow. All them women gonna make me teach them what they don't know how. I'm gonna Jackson, turn loose my coat. Yeah, I'm gonna Jackson. Goodbye, that's all she wrote.